to be myself, you know, without compromises um, and to push boundaries to really move forward and always going out of the comfort zone mm -hmm. also very important that's how you make new things mm -hmm. you know because if you stay in your comfort zone you end up doing mm -hmm. the same thing over yeah, yeah. and over so you have to come out of there yeah. and to surpass yourself yeah, yeah. so you grow up every time you come out of the comfort zone you grow up mm -hmm. and you become a new person mm -hmm. It's basically a playlist that has all the songs that I listen to right now. Mm -hmm. It's maybe not all my favorites of all time, it's just my current mood. It's a playlist that I can just press play and let it play, you know, at home. So that's why there's like different moods in the playlist because, you know, I don't like to listen to only one type of uh, music. So it, it's also like to explain my taste because it's, you know, it's hard to choose one song to explain one taste, so it's the playlist is good for that to you know unite all of these different uh, genres. You know, it's, it's a symbol, you know, of who I am. It's also very me, you know, this symbol of rejection. It's a rejection of anything that you know. It's a protection. It's. Um, you know, zone interdit is that symbol. You know, it's restricted area because there is something precious, and for me, that thing is creativity. Uh, it's so precious. It's the most luxury thing today is to be creative and to be free in the creativity uh, without compromises, and that's very yeah the most precious thing I have for me. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We wanted to, mm. to do something fun, mm. you know, it's important to have fun and um, yeah, to, to create an experience also for the fans, just fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, it was also a good way to link, you know, me, Balenciaga, the, the shows, the soundtracks in one thing, so the game was that, because every level represents a, a show that we did and so we used the soundtrack of the show and so yeah it's it makes a total you have to love yourself first because if you don't love yourself you you, can, you cannot know how to love somebody else and that's very important you have to be feel good with yourself and then you can be good for someone for me for example when i go to los angeles I love myself more because I, I'm free. I, you know, I can wear whatever outfit I like, I can wear makeup and people um, respect me for that and actually give me compliments. In Europe, if I dress up like really crazy, I will get attacked or insulted or whatever, so I tone it down. So I, I cannot really love myself as much as I do in Los Angeles because I cannot be myself. So yeah, I think if you go to New York, you might <laughs> love yourself even more. I've always been like that since I'm a teenager. Of course my look evolved, but the references are the same. You know, I, I grew up as a Gothic person and I still feel like that. Um, so it's just an evolution of it. But I've always been like that. Um, my parents um, loved cold wave music and I went myself after that into metal music. So it's just a continuation of what my parents did when they were young. Well, we are, you know, because when you do normal songs, it's like three minutes, very short. And for the shows, we are doing 16 minutes, 20 minutes, so it's a for new format uh, of music. It's already the format is so different. In fashion shows you have pre-made music, curated by a DJ, you know, it's rare that it's something composed for the show, so that's why this format is so new as well. Well, for 
first of all, he is my love of my life, but for me, he's also the most creative person I know, but also in a so non compromising way. He has a platform that could allow him to um, be super egomaniac and want to be a celebrity, you know. He could use that to become himself another person. Um, but he's so true to himself always, you know, and that's what I admire most. Um, and he told me a lot about that. So for me, it's like confidence, self-confidence, and yeah, just so like grounded. And that helps me a lot. Well, I, you know, for my parents, I think it was very difficult. Um, to have me as a child and that family portrait is not only it's not really about my family it's more how I feel in society I always feel like the weirdo I'm always like that wherever I go maybe not LA but <laughs> anywhere else <laughs> um, so that's a representation of it so I wanted the people that know what I mean or experienced it look at this picture and right away understand what I mean and feel not alone. So be yourself. For real. Reality. Non-compromising. Damn no. <gasps> <laughs>